Hi everybody, welcome to the first teaching and learning video ran by Teacher Toolkit and this video is all about revision strategies. Now the first idea is all about using different coloured pens within a revision task. What the pupils do is they start just as normal using a black or a blue pen. They write down everything they can remember from past lessons and their revision. Once they have run out of ideas, they then move on over and maybe talk to a peer or maybe get a revision guide or get a textbook. They write everything down using a green pen. They then might want to do some extra reading, they might want to use their iPad or they might want to use a laptop. So they write everything down with a purple pen. And I might give some pills of wisdom or maybe some exam technique. Anything like that they write down with a red pen. It's a really good teacher assessment way to see how much the pupils are relying on others, how much they're relying on the textbook or how much they can actually remember. Also, the pupils can self-assess to see how much they remember, what's on their syllabus, what extra reading they might want to do and what's really good for exam technique. So, my first little tip is using different coloured pens. My second revision tip is nothing new, it's all about using flashcards. With the increased demand on vocab on the new GCSE, anything that can help them remember keywords is a thumbs up from me. These are index cards, I also have smaller traditional flashcards in lots of different colours. I've also been using these luggage labels with a key ring attached to them, really good for one keyword and a definition on the back. I'm going to try and get a stack of these in my classroom, one for every topic. My second revision technique is different shapes of flashcards. The third revision strategy is a bit of a pick and mix here. I've got two different bowls. In this bowl, I've got lots of different topics such as genetics, photosynthesis. They've all got a really clear success criteria breaking down the topics so the pupils know what to include. In this bowl, I've got lots of different revision strategies. So I've got mind mapping, I have got making flashcards, I've got making videos, really active ways for the pupils to revise. All the pupils do is they take one from this bowl and one from this bowl so they might get a mind map on photosynthesis. It's really good for getting pupils more active with their revision and for them not to just sit there and read over their revision notes. My final revision tip is to use a revision clock in the classroom. I've been using it lots recently. It was originated by Teach Jog Blog and it's been going crazy on Twitter. It's really good for procrastinators. It's really good for high ability, pushing them onto harder topics quicker. It's good for low ability if you scaffold it and support it really well. I'd really recommend it. Go onto Twitter and search revision clock. It's also on the TES. Thank you for watching my video, I hope you found it useful. If you have any strategies which you use in your classroom, please do tweet us at Teacher Toolkit. We look forward to hearing from you.